Hello everyone, this is Brian Zabricki. I wanted to show off a few features of the calendar system built within Outlook 2013, Microsoft's latest email calendar and task program that uh, really kind of rules the business world as far as inner office communication. So the new version of the calendar, you can see here I'm on a work week view, which on our, on our ribbon interface, I'm on the home tab. And then over in the arrange area, I've chosen the work week area, and then we have the day, the week, the month. Some of these views are going to be a little less valuable than others. I typically keep my settings on the work week, as that kind of makes the most sense. Um, then we have the, the ability to open additional calendars, share our calendar out, adjust permissions on those, and of course set new appointments where, you know, right here, you can see we're on November 1st right here. Uh, pretty easy to go in and just create a brand new appointment. So maybe this afternoon I need to have a discussion with somebody about one of our marketing initiatives or a new product release. So I'm going to pop in new product release right here. And I'm going to invite one of our local marketing folks, Deborah Navarro, who helps me so much with graphics. And I'm going to add her into this meeting. And then the location, I'm just going, this is going to be a phone meeting, so I'm going to make a note here that I'm going to give Deborah a call. And maybe in the note field, we'll discuss some new banner ads. So once that's done, I can simply sit, send that off. And here I can adjust response options so that Deborah will know whether or not to send me a quick email back. So I'm going to just cancel this right here. So very, very easy to put new appointments on your schedule. Um, and the other thing we wanted to kind of point out inside of Outlook on the calendar section was the fact that we can pull up multiple calendars. So right here, here's one of our instructors. If I wanted to check availability, I would click on her schedule. And right here, there's currently nothing on her schedule for that week. But that's how easy it is. So once you have connection with other folks in your environment, you can pull up and you'll see the blocks of time when those individuals are either available or busy, which is very, very helpful in trying to schedule people uh, to, into, into a meeting or into a conference call that you're looking to have. Another add-in, you can see that Outlook also uses your location to put up some weather, which uh, can be very helpful if you're trying to schedule maybe a, a company event and you need to know what a couple day forecast looks like in the future. Um, so that's valuable. It's a, not a big deal, but it's always nice to have more information at your fingertips. So again, this is Brian from New Horizons. Hope you enjoyed that info. We look forward to uh, giving you more. Thanks.